with you. I'm Pastor Luther from Incarnation Lutheran Church, and this is To Start Your Day. Our Bible reading for today comes to us from uh, Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, reading from the 10th chapter, reading verses 1 through 13. 1 Corinthians 10, 1 through 13, and I'm reading from the Message Translation. Remember our history, friends, and be warned. All our ancestors were led by the providential cloud and taken miraculously through the sea. They went through the waters in a baptism like ours as Moses led them from enslaving death to salvation life. They all ate and drank identical food and drink, meals provided daily by God. They drank from the rock, God's fountain for them that stayed with them wherever they were. And the rock was Christ. But just experiencing God's wonder and grace didn't seem to mean much. Most of them were defeated by temptation during the hard times in the desert, and God was not pleased. The same thing could happen to us. We must be on guard so that we never get caught up in wanting our own way as they did. And we must not turn our religion into a circus as they did. First the people partied, then they threw a dance. We must not be sexually promiscuous. They paid for that, remember, with 23,000 deaths in one day. We must never try to get Christ to serve us instead of serving him. They tried it, and God launched an epidemic of poisonous snakes. We must be careful not to stir up discontent. Discontent destroyed them. These are all warning markers, danger, in our history books, written down so that we don't repeat their mistakes. Our positions in the story are parallel. They at the beginning, we at the end. And we are just as capable of messing it up as they were. Don't be so naive and self-confident. You're not exempt. You could fall flat on your face as easily as anyone else. Forget about self-confidence. It's useless. Cultivate God confidence. No test or temptation that comes your way is beyond the course of what others have had to face. All you need to remember is that God will never let you down. He'll never let you be pushed past your limit. He'll always be there to help you come through it. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious Lord, on this new day, help us to remember the promise that you're with us always, to help us push through everything that we need to deal with so that we might be your people and that we might recognize that you are our God. Help us to share that good news with the world around us so that that good news becomes infectious and everyone feels it. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.